to Sepang. I come here to once again on pole. And he do it again. That is the ultimate question. Before he had out of the way alongside him on the front row. And that's how an air lines up third, and perhaps Kato is involved. Look at the claim his first podium after the weekend in Nonza. Nakajima starts fifth head of both, and uh, Jones then lead, and Sleepers is a bit further down. He's alongside Smith, so the stop or platinum rivalry will continue into JTCL. Genovese and then two million dollar man last, who's barely ahead of his former teammate Switsky. With Aikaye 14, that's Douglas Martinez, a bit quiet in 16, and then a couple of the uh, regular back markers. And the way that play a lot for Boomer. Got a decent initial one. The answer's gonna hold this, I think. I mean, with second, then Salmon Ant, Kato, and Nakajima. It's a fairly clean break. So we head down towards turn one. Nakajima's got ahead of Kato for the time being. So now see Salmon Ant going right down the inside of Bavuba. Yet to made a slight mistake, but closed off the door on Salmon Ant. So he'll hold the lead and probably go on to win this race by nine light years now. Salmon Ant is second, Bavuba is third. Then Kato, then Nakajima Wu, Jones, and then Soifers, who's going right down the inside, and he now takes P7 away from Jones. Good start for the uh, Belgian up two places. And then comes uh, Smith, who's fighting it out with Bergman for ninth. And they're going to go side by side. Into the um, corner, but as we see Wu having a look down the inside on Nakajima. Ole Wu, oh, and he goes off. He goes into the gravel. Oh, big contact with Jones. I think Jones has lost uh, his rear bumper, has he? No, it's the fun. So Jones is going to have to pit for damage. And that is not ideal for the American. He's going to put up no points in the first race. Just ahead of this, though, you can see Cypress, who's already up three places, having started ninth. He's now sixth. He's trying to make it four in one lap as he's on to the back of Nakajima. For fifth place, as they head towards the hairpin in the middle sector. They fight it out here on lap one, and Sopus is going to go down the inside on Nakajima, and it's a fairly clean overtake, that one. Although he slightly lost... Oh, he mistimed his braking. Sopus goes off then. He mistimed his braking, and he has gone off. So you see fighting here between Smith and Rude. Rude coming out on top for P8. Then comes Bergman, then Genovese, last Kai. Smith, he's still got his short hands of Martinez and County has lost on Forsberg, Lau, Rondi, Grand, Dark, Grandis. So he ends up leading Salmoni X, then Baboom, and then Kato. Jones is all over the back of Nakajima, but of course he'll have to pit for damage at some point. So you head down the back straight, 12 and a half minutes to go, though yet to complete one lap of Oasis, and it is worth pointing. So we're going to focus on this fight for P8, Ole Wu defending from James Smith. Smith's gained one place, and he's pulling out to the inside, he's going to go for it into the final corner. James Smith goes right down the inside, and he makes a clean overtake there. That were no complaints from either driver about that particular move. He's up to P8, it was a clean move, and it was a decent move. So, Jensen leads by, well, 1.2 seconds. And then Tony Hicks, probably, and then Keita. Nakajima had the Jones, who's going to pit. And then Slifers, Smith, Rouge, who's now come under pressure from Bergman. So, we dropping drop into the field. As they head for into turn one, Bergman has a look down the inside. He forces the gap there. From nowhere, Bergman gets late on the brakes and sends it right down the inside and gets the job done up to ninth. So, we drops down to tenth. He might come under pressure from Jankovo Jeremy. See the young Drake driver here. So, we beginning to drop down the field. As we face. On the lap two, 11 and a half minutes to go. Genovese all over the back of Wu, but he goes to the move down the inside here. He had a little look about it. That's a move by Smith. He tried to go down the inside on Kai Ras, but he was too far back. Then Kai. In fact, this train is now merged into a train back to Kai, really. So Wu beginning to hold up a lot of people. He's yet to really get any sort of groove into this race. He started eighth. He lost the place to Smith. Then he lost the place to Bergman. And now he's got a whole host of drivers who are trying to make him lose even more places. As I say, that bug is by no means out of this train of Javanese, so he can get the job done soon. So now they come to the double right-hander. That's a move by Kaye, who's going down the inside on uh, Smetsky through the first of the right-handers. 
And he's made a stick. So I guy is up to 13th. Douglas now joins in this train. This is turning into an exciting fight, isn't it? Um, as we now see Rast going down the inside of Genovese. He's also going to try and take Rue. Genovese is then forced to go to the outside. Uh, so we see Rast getting ahead of Rue. Genovese. And there's a three wide train in the background of Kaye, Smithy, and Stoglis. And now we see Genovese going down the inside here on Rast. And he's trying to get that place. So that's Rude. He's now going to head a Rude. So Rude now drops to 12th. Then Kaye. And then you can see uh, Smetsky who's fallen behind Stuglis, I think. Although he is going to come back down the inside. But Stuglis is ahead. Now he's got a poor drive. And you can see Hansen's now getting past. So Smetsky drops a few places. Rude come back. Uh, fighting with Jevanisi. Jones, surprisingly, isn't actually paying to a pair of damage. Although, he's just been overtaken by Anthony Cypress a P6. So, we will see. In fact, he is uh, paying. That's my apologies. The uh, graphic in the top left does make it slightly difficult to see sometimes. But there will be shock to that for the second race. But uh, there we go. So, there's Rast, there's Burp, and there's Jevanisi. Rude's now come under pressure from Ikaia. He's the latest man who's going to try and overtake. Ole Rude, who's had an absolute nightmare at the start to race number one, but he is holding P12. Stuglis is in this trade as well. He's running 14. Joe and Easy heads the trade. He's in P10. Oh, those pit stops means that uh, Tom Forsberg gets pushed into the points as we see uh, Stuglis trying to send it down the inside of Ike Kaye. And Stuglis, as they come out of here, has got the job done. So Stuglis makes his way up to P12. And now we see Smith fighting with Soipers. Doesn't go for the overtake there. And then there's a huge gap back. Nine seconds or so. Back to Rast and Bowman who are fighting it out for ninth. Or eighth place even. Bowman had a little think about it. You always do in those situations. As that Smetsky going down the inside. Like Kaye and the Russian makes himself very much known here. As he makes his way up to P13. And I'll tell you what. I haven't shut up for the first seven minutes. Because I literally haven't had an opportunity to shut up in the first seven minutes. Action everywhere you look, particularly in the midfield. And now Soipers being hunted down by James Smith. Who started his way P10. He's on a recovery drive. Soipers started the way 9th. So, there we go. Soipers probably too far ahead of Smith for Smith to have a look down the head with him. And as they head into the head. Soipers got a bit on the curve there. But a bit too wide on entry. Bergman also having a look. He'll have a look at Vast down the inside here as they head into the uh, head. But he actually doesn't. That's a look though by Ike Kaye. As him and Smetsky continue their duel for 13th. Now it's the Canadian who gets ahead. A little bit wide, but he does cover off Smetsky. Those two trading places, like there are six year on, on the playing ground trading Pokemon cards. Not a reference that Alexis will remember. Let's be honest, no one here is old enough to remember trading Pokemon cards. But further ahead, it's all about this man running Bud Nakai Edson. He leads by 2.8 seconds. He's got the fastest lap of the race. And it's 30 standard JTTL procedure. So it's coming under a little bit of pressure for a second from this man, Daryl Baruma. So we could have a decent fight shaping up for second here. Let's think about the duel we've seen from 13 between Smetsky and Kai. Uh, Even I will for it. Back in fourth place in its path of Kato. Nakajima is another one who's minding the way business. Soibers and Smith continue their slight fight. Then Vlask and Bergman. Well, but not able to send it. We head down towards turn one, but Boomer doesn't go for it. Smith's close enough to Slapers. He could send it down the inside, yeah. As we head into turn one, but uh, he thinks better of it. Bergman all over the back of 2 million driver Matt, uh, Franz Rast for 8th place, with Genovese and 10th and Hollywood at 11th. Heading down towards turn one, but no overtake being made. There. So we now head back to this fight for second between seven and seven Baruma. On fastest laps, there's not too much of a pace difference between these two drivers. Seven and is fastest lap of 32 2, and Baruma's was a 130, uh, was a 32 1. So on pace front, very evenly matched drivers. Seven and X was a uh, 32 2 8 4, Baruma's was a 32 1 8 3. So about a tenth of a second in it. As they head for the first of the double right handers, the boomer will need to get the exit here. And unfortunately he hasn't, so some of the exit gonna pull away from him pretty convincingly actually. With Kata and then Akajima and then Smith and Soipers continuing their fight. Uh, 
Slaper's match to his exit there, though. So I, I don't think Smith's going to be close enough to overtake here for sixth place, and indeed he is not. The last defending from uh, Bourbon and Genovese, and also into this trade now is Ole Wood. And also Vikes like Starkless, to be fair. Never mind, I'm looking at the one number over there. So we see Gemini going down the inside on Bergman. He's trying to get last as well. Huge ambition for Gemini. He's got Bergman, but he's not going to get last. Yeah, no, I was looking at Kaye. I was thinking he was uh, well, done the right collection earlier, but yes. So Gemini got ahead of uh, Bergman. Then last, then Kaye, especially stuck with Martinez in that little train. This little uh, fight is looking good. Let's go back and see if Smith. Well, have a look at Soybers as Baboom has dropped off the back of Savon near to a poor middle sector. We saw that. Smith's not going to get it done there. And that's uh, Rude coming back at Gemadisi. He is going to be on the outside. He might even open himself up to a move down the inside from Alan Bergman. Uh, he prevents that opportunity from happening. With four and a half minutes to go, but Bergman doesn't care. He locks up a slightly on the wheels. But he's got it in. Bergman's back up into the top ten. And he started this way as P6. Rude started this way as P8, so they both not have had great bases. Funny enough, but tempo. Swift just behind Soipers. Let's see if Rude will come back down the inside into turn one. It does look like that's what he's aiming to do. And he is going to send it down the inside on a Rude. Down the inside on Bergman and he gets the brakes on late. And Rude is now back up into the top 10. So these two have had two terrific duel for 10th place. Good. So you see Smith getting very close to Anthony Snipers. Well, or not that will work is the question. Three and a half minutes to go. He is closer than we have seen him to Snipers. With just over three minutes to go, this will probably be the penultimate lap of the race. Smith doesn't go for it. Wow. Bergman and Wood continuing their fight for 10th place. Of course, we saw Bergman getting up to 10th, then we saw Wood getting back up to 10th. And now we can see Bergman trying to get back up to P10 once more. And he is going to go down the inside. Bergman gets it done. So he's now back up into the top 10. You can see a bit of a scrap in the background. That's inconvenience to Ikaye, who's now dropping back to fight with Lossel. He will come out on top against the uh, Danish person, though. But uh, 16th place now for Ikaye, and what was once a promising potential top 10 finish. So you see, Jabadisi has now caught up to the back of France Blast for 8th place. So Jensen's crossed the line now with 2 minutes 12 to go. So this is. So Jensen has now started the final lap of the race. He leads by four and a half seconds to Andre Savoni X with Baboon went third, then Keita, then Nakajima. So we see Javanisi and Rast fighting for eighth place. But uh, Rast gets it covered. Smith dropped off the back of Soipers. Genovese is on the back of Ras trying to take P8. Will he go for the move down into turn 1? That is the question. Down into turn 1. Genovese won't have a look for the move. It's definitely a position I think he'll attack, but just nothing. So we now see Ike Kaye trying to get back ahead of Andreas Lossel. Shaw joins in this fight. Like Kaya gets up to 16th, Shaw gets up to uh, 17th, and Lossel drops back to 18th. And that's to cover off Monty.
gonna be see this slightly draw dogs the back of the rest. Bourbon and Rude are still having a little fight out there for the tenth. That's the only real meaningful battle out there right now with fifty seconds to go. Jensen pulls away at the front. Abumid fell off the back of Soy of uh, Salmonier. Smith fell off the back of Soy Food. Genovese has fallen off the back of last. So this is the only real fight out there. As I think all drivers out there, apart from these two, are just keeping it safe inside the top nine. Just trying to get home the good points for their seasons. So we see Rude onto the back of Bergman, but he is slightly losing time, so he'll need a good exit here. Um, It wasn't terrible. It wasn't good, though. Well, hey, Rude, I don't think he'll be close enough to attack as we head into the hairpin, which he's not. But for one man, it is a familiar story this season. Pole, fastest lap, and a dominating race win. Mick Jensen, it's going to cost the line. To win race number one here in Sepang, it's not really a unexpected result at this point. Andres Savonix will cross the line to finish second. Dark Aruba completes out the podium in third. Talent Kayser continues to show he's got an impressive future in the series as he takes the checkered flag in fourth. Fifth place for Hiroki Nakajima, who puts in a good show for the Wanker team. Anthony Soipers will have to wait another day for his first podium. He got finishes sixth. Then Smith. Rast is going to cross the line uh, to finish eighth. The 2 million supposed transfer driver. He's only going to finish 8th here. As he cuts the line. With Jacobo Genovese who started this race. At 11th coming home in 9th. Aaron Bergman completes out your top 10. With Oli Wood in 11th. Smekti crosses the line for a good showing in 12th. Head of Ruben Martinez who finishes 13th. Stuglis 14th. Head of Hanson. Like Kai, a disappointing race for him. Could have been a day of good result, but the qualifying wasn't there, and he didn't really put anything together in the race. Lewis Shaw for 17th, heard of Andres Dossel. Check out Mondi will finish 19th. Tom Forsberg gets the last point. Then Doug, Lau, Kalniex. Grand is actually paying with damage on the final lap, so he'll cross the line uh, 24th. And then we wait for Jack Jones, who so unfortunately had a bad incident early on in the race, if you remember. I don't. I can't remember who it was with, but he, he, he got hit by someone. Coming back onto the track. And that puts away any good chance for the result he had. I was a start in this race P7. But he does take the check and flag. And finish 25th with some useful race pace data. For race 2 tomorrow. That's all we've got for today though. Make it to a win once again. Can anyone at this point stop him apart from Peregrine loading out to an ITCL team? No. Goodbye.